Creativity is an addiction. When you stop, look around, and see what it's been doing to you and what you're not getting from it and what it's not getting from you, you'll understand what I mean because you keep chumming together. You ju- you just, you're just you just friends, best friends forever. And if you try to drop it, you can't. That That's the addiction, creativity. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I write in a forest. I go into this forest to listen. What started at the Billy Graham Library in Charlotte, North Carolina, has evolved into a lifelong journey. Something is always moving through each and every one of us. It's our calling. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Chapter number 296. Written on January 8th, 2022, a very cold 27 degree morning in this forest. This much sun, yet not much heat. Nothing but a man and his dog watching, very quietly, which is what so many of us need to do in this very noisy world. A sliver of nature given permission to take up space in our souls. Getting control of air intake has been replaced by a strange addiction to want to know it all. In doing that, we tend to forget how nature is constantly stepping within. But because peaceful moments usually go unnoticed, we don't see the very small birds that land on perches just inches from what we see. While writing, the goal and or ambition is to take note of what I've been missing. What are the chances that this message will be any warmer? Where are the tiny birds in your personal life? Do they bring your story a song? Are you even listening? How cold is your brand new morning? There's too much research and not enough life. The tiny things, the birds, the squirrels. I have a raccoon in my attic even as we speak. The tiny things. Am I going to get the raccoon out? Yeah, yeah. But I'm enjoying the moment of nature being that close to me. Is it dangerous? Yeah, because you don't know if it has rabies or not. But I've got a raccoon in my attic. I feel close to nature. Outside this recording studio is this beautiful forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina. These trees were just six inches tall when I put them in the ground in 1997. The tiny things in your life. Not necessarily a war in, in Ukraine, because that's huge. That's something you can't control. That's something that is taking over your body. Well, what about the pandemic? Yeah, it's been with us, what, for two and a half years now? Can you control it? You can't. The tiny things in your life. The little birds where you just stop. No TV. No smartphone. No Alexa. No Siri. Just you and the tiny things. The little things that land just inches away from you. Maybe a spider. Oh, yeah. I love me some spiders. Did you know that in Native American...